Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. So today, what we're doing, well, I'm doing something that I've already done once before. Um, I did do a video changing the start motor, but it needs doing again, as the evidence may suggest. As you can see there's some twatic marks on there. And when was a twat it to get it running? And that evidence suggests that the shitter isn't working again. In fact, it's been getting progressively worse um, to a point where when it's hot now, forget about it. Just push it down a bastard hill because you're not going to start with the start motor until it cools down again. So I have got a replacement. And the reason for making another video about it is because I had a few people saying, I do it from underneath, it's easier. So I'm going to do this one from underneath and try to do it that way, if you're that way inclined. So first, if we go underneath, we can assess that. Loads of shit falling in my eyes and that. But we can assess the situation and we can see that we've got a bolt there and we've got some wires that need to be removed. One of the bolts I think we'll still have to do from above. Um, but first, let's take the battery terminal off. Which is just a case of undoing a 10 millimeter bolt or not and then removing the terminal it would be better to remove the negative but as we can see it's more awkward uh, because it's got more bolts on it uh, the only reason why it's better to remove the negative is because if you uh, got the spanner on it and you touch the bodywork with the negative it won't do anything with the positive it will weld your spanner to the bodywork um but anyway taking that off obviously i'm gonna have to fuck about setting all the settings on the radio again which is going to be fun but let's get on with this job so First, there is, I get the bolt from the top, I can get the shitter to focus. Yes, I'm gonna take that bolt out before going back underneath, which is a 14 mil. <sighs> yes. Right, so now we are back underneath the shitter. And uh, there's some wires, <coughs> some wires to take off, which have got like rubber grommets over them. So I'll take that one off, take that one off. Can't remember what size it is. I think one's an eight and one's a 12 or something. So let's take them off. And then there's a plastic doofer, which holds that onto there. So yeah, as I suspected, the small one is an eight milli. Let's take that shitter off, nice and lovingly. Yes. And I guess so this one was also correct, because that's a 12. Which also needs removing, if you haven't guessed that already. Yes. Right, so now I can take both wires off the starter motor. And um, this clip, this clip here, can just pull off. Now, if you can't get it off, there is a 10 milli bolt there, which also appears on the new one. You can just take the plate off and do it that way instead. But I've taken that off. So now, there is another bolt holding it in, and it is another 14 which is the... Fucking hell, that's tight, which dick put that on? Fucking hell. Right, we got it. Um, if you need to get two hands on it, because it's very tight like mine, but you can actually reach up above the subframe in this location, and then put one hand up in this location, and then yank the shit out of it. But I'm gonna remove this bolt now. And this bolt seems longer than what I remember, so... Now, once you remove this bolt, the start motor is, is free. Yes. But it seems like you don't actually want to fit out, no matter how much I carefully try. It doesn't want to come out on the bottom, so I'm going to have to lift it out from the top. Yes. Yeah.
And now we put them next to each other to make sure that they are in fact the same. Take these nuts off, because otherwise we'll have to take them off when it's up there. It's easy to do it now. And that's how we start them up. So I'm going to now going to put in, well, the same way as that one came out. I'd just like to thank Ash Carter for this starter motor as well. Uh, Jelly Snake Motorsport. I've had a few bits off him in the past, actually. He's always been reliable and helpful. So thanks for that, Ash. Right, let's uh, go and get that into its situation where it goes. And this is where the start motor, even though I couldn't fit it out, no matter how much I tried, but I didn't try that hard, but still. Um, this is when it finds a way to fall out the bottom and lands on the face. That's usually what happens when you're doing something like this. Um, in all honesty, this job, I don't think it's any easier doing it on the floor than it is from above. The only difference is, is you can see more, but I think it's probably easier just to do it from above, to be honest with you. But let's put some bolts in. And it might take a bit of fumbling to get it into the hole, but that's just the way life is. Um, so we've got that into the in a nice and careful and loving manner. But before I tighten that one up, you come up to the top and put this one back in too. Because otherwise, well, you just don't tighten any bolts up until you've got all the bolts in. It's just a, it's just a rule that. But now both bolts are in, we can tighten both bolts up. We'll start with the top one because they're already up here. And this goes to a tightness torque setting of something or other. Um, if I can find it, I'll put it up, but I probably won't be able to find it. Click. And the same again for this one. Click. And all being well, that just leaves us to put these wires back on. So there's a big one. There's a small one. And then there's a small nut. There is a bigger knot. Tightened up to my attach for specific torque settings. Yes. And then let's put the condoms back on to protect your terminals from getting STIs. And now it's time to put this shitter back on. Yeah. And see if it works. Yes! And it appears that it does. So, as long as it keeps on working, that should be the end of it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. I'll put in a fit, uh, I'll put in a photograph now of, of what happened when I was um, trying to put the car on the stands to do this job. Um, personally, if I was gonna do it again, I'd just do it from above. I think it's easier to do from above, to be honest with you. Uh, but, if you do wanna do it from underneath, well, you can at least you can see it. Anyway, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all your usual shit. Check out my Instagram. And uh, see you next time.